Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's take a look at these particular examples. So here we have a hyperbola in a circle, and here we have a y equals 1 over x function and a straight line, a y equals mx plus b type of equation. In this particular case, the boundaries are included over here. The boundary is not included for this function, but is included for this function. All right, and so that's how we differentiate. When the boundary is not included, we have a dashed line. When the boundary is included, we have a solid line. Notice the non-shader region is the solution, so we're going to get rid of all the regions that do not satisfy the inequality. Starting with the circle right here. The circle is easy. Notice it says less than or equal to 25. That means the region inside the circle, because it's less than, is valid. The region outside the circle is not valid. So let's get rid of everything outside the circle only keep what's inside the circle. We notice that the boundary is indeed included. Now the hyperbola. Notice it says greater than or equal to 9, which means that the origin is not included, the region bounded by the origin. But if you just want to make sure, just take the point 0, 0, plug it in, 0, 0. Is that greater than or equal to 9? The answer is no. That means the region that includes the origin is not part of the solution. So we get rid of everything that's on the center portion of the hyperbola, which means that the only regions that are left is this region right here, and this region right here. So this is the solution. We can write it in, solution, solution, not solution, not solution, not solution. So that makes it fairly straightforward that we're looking for the two regions that are bounded in, in here between the circle and the hyperbola and the hyperbola and the circle. Those are the two solutions, including the boundaries, because we have the equal symbol, and that is how we find the solution graphically. Let's do the same over here. Again, we have, let's start with the straight line, y greater than or equal to negative x. Hmm, let's see here. We want to try a test point. We can't pick 0, 0 because that's right on the line. So let's pick another point. Let's pick a point. How about 1, 0? So 1, 0 and plug that in here. So y is 0, x is 1. So 0 greater than or equal to question mark negative 1. Is 0 greater than negative 1? The answer is yes, which means we picked the test point in the correct region. That means the other region is not valid, so we shade away the other region. Okay, now about the hyperbola. Uh, not the hyperbola, it's a one, it's a y equals one over x function. So let's plug in a test point, zero, zero. Is zero times zero greater than question mark negative four? Yes, zero is greater than negative four, so I picked the point that's part of the solution, which means that the other regions is not part of the solution, so we can get rid of this. So the only portion that's left that makes up the solution is the region bounded by this, by this, and by this. So here's the solution, which means we can get rid of everything else outside. That's not part of the solution. And that is how we find the solution to a system of inequalities. Linear or nonlinear, doesn't matter. There it is. That's the method that we use. You're almost asleep. <laughs> All right, maybe one or two more examples.